very honored to receive the award. As I mentioned at the time that I received it, that uh, uh, I wish we were uh, giving the awards when we solve the disease, but in the meantime, I do appreciate uh, the uh, honor and now the, the privilege of being able to work on uh, MS and to try to devise new therapies and to uh, tell uh, individuals uh, whether or not the existing therapies may or may not help them. So uh, the award was given for a series of uh, studies looking at uh, molecules involved in the pathology of the disease and some of that work led to the uh, development of natalizumab, uh, one of the most potent approved drugs for multiple sclerosis. Still trying to develop uh, new therapies for MS, uh, new vaccines that uh, highly specifically turn off a small portion of the immune system, that portion of the immune system that may be involved in the pathogenesis of MS while leaving the rest of the immune system ready to fight uh, against infections and protect us against cancer. I'm also involved in looking at uh, biomarkers that will help uh, discriminate who will respond and who won't respond to approved drugs. And then a lot of our work is in exploratory research, uh, trying to define molecules that may provide protection uh, to people uh, who have a damaged nervous system and be involved in the process of neural repair. The research is a global enterprise and that uh, we can learn a tremendous amount from studying uh, different forms of MS, uh, different forms of MS that may be driven by environmental factors in different regions of the world. And I think uh, with the globalization of nearly everything on Earth that the uh, fight to understand what MS is and to cure it uh, should be a global effort. So I look to our colleagues in areas that are uh, less uh, able to muster huge economic resources as exceptionally important in teaching us about the uh, rare versions of diseases that may uh, give us a compelling clue to the whole disease entity.